Welcome back. We've reached the finals to find out who is the best chef in this house. We saw Chef Maggie triumph over Chef Julie with her chocolate chunk cookies. I believe Sam is still in the bathroom. He really ate a lot of those cookies. In our second episode, which was all over the map, by the way, note to director, <clears throat> we saw Chef Eli unfortunately suffer a setback with his attempt to deceive the judges with his weak chili, which cleared the way for Chef Chuck to take the victory even though his burger had some questionable origins. Before we welcome our contestants, let's meet the judges. Glenda comes to us as a judge. Yay, Maggie! Obviously unbiased, Glenda is the mother of Chef Julie, I'm sorry, and also the grandmother of Chef Maggie. Chuck, you're great, but I hope you lose. Hi, Jesse. I'm on the television. Becky is another judge, and she is also Chef Chuck's mother, so I wonder who she'll be voting for. Yay, Maggie! Woo! Okay, it seems like Chef Chuck is in for an uphill battle. Let's say hello to our final judge, back for his third appearance in this competition, the ever-popular Colt Bronco. <coughs> I turned 21 in prison, doing life without parole. No one could steer me right, but Mama tried. Mama tried. Woo! Nobody told me I'd be in a PLS in this episode. I'm a little afraid to ask, but what is a PLS? A pretty lady sandwich. Let's judge this thing. I've done three of these shows and I still don't know what's going on. Wonderful. Let's meet our contestants and get this train wreck underway. Chef Chuck, everyone. Hello, hostess. Well, thanks for asking. I have enjoyed my episode two win, and I hope to keep this boat afloat and show the rest of these bums who's the best cook in this house. Bums, huh? I'm sure you're a pleasure to be around every day. Now let's meet Chef Maggie. Why are you both calling me hostess? Anyway, in this round of the competition, the cooking choices have been made for you. Chef Chuck, you will be making potato salad, and Chef Maggie, you will ma be making pork barbecue. Barbecue? Nice! Only one thing I love more than barbecue, and that is Dusty Springfield. Only one who could ever love me was the son of a preacher man. Chefs, your ingredients have already been laid out for you. So, and this is specifically for Chef Chuck, no leaving the premises or the kitchen. Potato salad? Where's the lettuce? <laughs> How am I supposed to prepare it without a smoker? And in this final battle, there is no time limit. Great. Make sure they wash their hands. <laughs> Chefs, you have your tasks defined and we are anxious to wrap up this competition. Very, very anxious. Very, 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 very anxious. Okay, so let's get cooking. Maggie, isn't Piglet your uh, favorite character in Stuffed Animal? Yeah, why? Uh, no reason. Enjoy making your barbecue. <laughs> Judge Becky, tell us something notable about Chef Chuck. You have known him longer than anyone, after all. He's a very picky eater, or he was growing up. Four years old, and I made him eat one lima bean before he could get up from the table. He whined, he cried, he fussed. He whined some more. He finally ate one and then immediately threw up in his plate. Maybe we'll get to see some of that today. 
Glenda, do you have any funny stories about Chef Maggie that you would like to share? Well, first of all, she is just precious. But I'll give you a little bit of her background on uh, cooking. She started out with Jell-O. She's a great Jell-O maker. Uh, She graduated up to popcorn. She learned right off the bat which button to push on the microwave to pop popcorn. Then we went into cupcakes, and she's excellent with cupcakes. Mm. Well, uh, that was all great, but we better get back to the competition. I remember this one time we were shooting this scene for the Rockford Files. That's a uh, great story, Colt, but let's get back to the kitchen to check up on our chefs. This this isn't a dance competition. You've lost control. I did not raise him this way. It's got to be those darn video games. Darn Mario Brothers. Is muffins with jelly glaze. I got waffles, pork chops, tacos and lemon drops. I got french fries, milkshakes, meatballs and carrot cakes. He's got prime rib, beef stew, popcorn, it's buttered too. He's got ice cream, cheese whiz. Eat up that all there is. Nap time! Potato salad! Dig in! I'm so sorry. I dropped him on his head when he was little. Did you feed him lead paint as well? You little. Well, that looks absolutely terrible. You don't have to eat it. Sorry, Chuck. Yeah. Had a good run. Good luck. Tough crowd. Lettuce, did you eat lead paint as a kid? (laughs) Barbecue. Oh, it looks great, but something smells terrible. Sorry about that. Ooh, that does look great. Judges, what's the verdict? Maggie. Psych, Maggie. Nah. Uh, that, well, fine. <laughs> just, just fine. Uh, so we have two votes for Maggie and one vote for nine. So it, it looks like Maggie is the winner. Yes, thanks. Now it's time to dance. Play some Brooks and dance. Okay, that wraps up this competition. Congrats to Chef Maggie, I guess. Uh, To the viewers, thank you so much for watching. Um, And to the judges, well, great. You know, what the heck. (laughs) 